Hi everyone, you might remember a couple of years ago I did a video about my online schooling experience. Let's be honest, the video wasn't that great. It was one of my first videos, I hadn't really been schooled online for that long so I wasn't great at answering questions and it was just bleh. Today I thought I would do an updated version of that video, especially as I have now been there for about four years so I feel like I have more experience to answer your questions properly, hopefully you find it helpful or if all of this is irrelevant to you hopefully you find it interesting anyway because let's be honest going to school online isn't really normal yet. <laughs> Before we get into the rest of the video I just want to say I'm sorry I sound and look like a man, I'm getting over a cold, the struggle is real. So going to school online, that's a thing. I go to interhigh, so interhigh.co.uk and that's my online school that I go to. There are others, but I think Interhigh is the best one and it has the best reviews and I, th I think it's the original one as well. So that's good. There are others, but... So Interhigh is a school online. It's also a sixth form, by the way. A typical day, you log in to Interhigh with your student login and you have a timetable on there, you have uh, message boards, you have school email, you have a homework board with alerts so it organises all your homework for you so you know what you've got and when. You don't hand in homework by the way, obviously you do it on Word or something or you do it by hand and take a picture of it and then you upload it to your teacher privately and it gets marked very quickly, unlike my old school where my homework was never marked ever, it was really frustrating. When you go into class, it's in real time, it's live, there are students and your teachers spread out all over the world, but at that time you are all logged into the same thing and you can all talk to each other. Um, you can talk to each other by private message or public message. Your teacher talks to you on a microphone so you can hear them. Sometimes they use a webcam so you can see them as well, but that's pretty rare to be honest and students can use the microphone as well but uh, they have to ask, it's the equivalent of putting your hand up and being like miss, miss, I have a question, so that's the gist of that. It, it looks like a chat room but much better, much professional and it's not a chat room. Um, so you've got like the chat down the side and then you've got like a whiteboard area where you can draw on it or you can upload slides, the teacher obviously uploads slides because it's their lesson and I mean that's pretty much it to be honest. So now I'm going to get into your questions and answer them as best I can. If you don't mind me asking why do you go to school online rather than a regular school? Just wondering different reasons. And that is by Sarah Schrader. Schrader? Schrader? I don't know, sorry. I go to school online because in year 9 I was diagnosed with chronic anxiety and panic disorder and school, the environment of a mainstream school was my main trigger and I was also agoraphobic at the time so I literally struggled to step outside of my house I know it sounds weird but it's a medical condition just like a broken leg so it's a thing so I couldn't go to school and I was in year 9 so I was about to start my GCSEs in year 10 and I needed to educate myself while I wasn't going um, but my mum didn't feel comfortable teaching me at a GCSE level so and to be honest, I didn't either. She's very clever, but I just, I wanted an actual teacher. So we looked into high and never looked back. Erin asks, really late, but I really want to know is if you get a free trial. Uh, I don't think they do offer free trials, but they do do open evenings. If you go on the website and you use their contact form, just say you're interested in an open e evening and they will send you the details. It's not an actual physical place, it's online. So you just log in at the time they give you and you get to see the software and ask questions to the higher up staff members who actually know what they're talking about more than me. <laughs> There's that and that's really good, I've helped out with that a few times so that might help you. Frybaby, nice name, asks how long are the days? Again it depends on what year you're in and what subjects you're doing. When I was in year 9 I had all my classes in the mornings and then in GCSEs I think it was a mix of both mornings and afternoons and now I'm doing A levels again it's a mixture of mornings and afternoons. I'm sure if you ask them, if you tell them what classes you would like to do, 
going to wait for that lorry to drive past. If you are, if you tell them what classes you would like to do, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to tell you when they would be. So Lydia TV asks, I know this is late, but I just found your channel. Do you have to pay for the school? Yes, you do. How much it costs depends on what year you're going into and. Uh, how many subjects you're doing so I can't tell you how much it costs but I can tell you it will be over a thousand pounds but probably not more than six thousand pounds I think that's like the general price range so it's quite expensive but then you think of actual mainstream private schools that are like twenty thousand pounds a term and it's like whoa okay so yeah you do have to pay the fees are on the website the angry owl says i've been wanting to go to intai for a few months now and my mum is fine with me going but we can't afford the fees i don't think my school i go to now would pay them either although my mum's on benefits so there's a tiny chance they might if they won't slash can't do you have any ideas on how i could get the money p.s i'm in year 10. i totally understand we couldn't afford it either when i was in year 9 to year 11 my old school paid for me because if you don't know I think it's all schools in the UK um, they get paid for every student they have enrolled so me being at my old school was earning them like four thousand pounds a year I think it was or it might even have been per term so they used the money that I was earning them to pay for my place at Inter High. And they did that until year 11, which was really cool and really nice of them. Your case is stronger if you have an illness, which I did and I still do, um, because, you know, at the end of the day, my well-being, you know, was kind of half their responsibility, half my parents, and uh, my parents couldn't afford what was clearly going to be amazing for me, so the school paid and then after year 11 I wanted to do A levels at Inter High but again we couldn't afford it so I started a crowdfunder and it was successful and that paid for my two years of A levels I'm about to do the final year by the way and that was really cool I think it was successful because like I have this following online so I'm not sure how successful it would be if you don't have that but I think everything is worth a try. There are options. Don't just give up when you see the price. If you think you need this, then you will find a way. I'm starting in Thai next term. Really excited. What was it like on your first day? It was way more laid back than I thought it would be. I was having visions of like being asked to, you know, like, Amber, you're new here. Tell us about yourself. And I would just be like, oh my god, don't make me talk about myself. It was fine, everyone was so welcoming, I didn't have to do anything I didn't want to do. The teachers, not that they're nasty the rest of the time, but they do go really easy on you in your first couple of weeks because going to school online, it's a new experience. You need to get used to it and so they go really easy on you and every time we get a new student, everyone is so welcoming. Everyone's like, oh, in the chat box, welcome to Inter High, hope you have a nice time, you know, if you need any help, let me know. Whereas in a mainstream school, everyone's like, I'm thinking of joining, do you get any holidays, for example, half term, summer, etc. Yeah, of course we do. We get all of the same holidays as a mainstream school. In summer, I think our summer holidays are a bit longer than most mainstream schools. I think most mainstream schools are like six weeks in summer, and ours is about eight, unless you've just done exams, in which case your summer holidays start when your last exam ends. So I've been on summer holidays since the 27th of May, and I don't go back until the 5th of September, so I am living right now, let me tell you. <laughs> I want to join this school so badly. Did you have to convince your parents to let you do school online? They are actually the ones who approached me about it because obviously I was having health problems and we were desperately looking for a way that I could continue my education um, while I was, you know, not leaving the house. Um, and my mum was like, oh, I heard a few years ago about this online school. I don't know if it's still around. I don't know if you have to pay for it, but let's look into it. So we did. If you want to convince your parents to let you do school online, don't just say, oh, I found a school online. Can I do it? Because they'll probably be like, oh, darling, it's probably a scam. What is this hideous thing you speak of? That's probably not how they talk at all, but Online school is a weird thing, it's not normal, you know, when you first say it to someone, oh, sorry, just getting comfy, when you first say to someone that you want to go to an online school or that you do go to school online, they're just like, what? <laughs> because it's not normal. 
because it's not normal even. Gosh, my voice, I feel so ill. Get all the facts, read about it as much as you can, make sure you're educated on it. Ha, funny. And, um, you know, be really serious about it and be really sensible and just be like, I think I need this because, you know, I'm being bullied or I'm just not learning well there or it gives me anxiety. And just talk to them like the adults they are and, you know, hopefully they will listen to you. And maybe it might help to show people online who go there, like you can show them this video if you want. There are other people online if you Google it who have written about their experience. So, you know, just if you really want to go, put as much effort into it as you can. And I hope that helps. My camera just died, so I'm sorry if this looks different because I just had to wait a billion years for the battery to charge again. But let's get straight back into it. The next question is from Jess and it says, Hi, I've been looking into this school for a while now, it looks amazing. I have been having a lot of problems with public school and I haven't been for a good six weeks now because of this. I really want to join online school. I am currently in year 11 at school and my GCSEs are in May. Although I think that joining online school right now might be a struggle, is it still possible to join this close to GCSEs? Yes it is. I, well, I'm pretty sure it is anyway. I think you can join at any time. I joined into high in the middle of March uh, when I was in year 9, so I think you can join at any time. I could be wrong, but I think so. If it's not possible, I want to join their sixth form. One small problem, money. I'm not sure my family can afford to send me to this school, but I really think it's a perfect option for me. Do you know what courses are available for year 12 and 13? Um, I don't know all of them off the top of my head, but I think they offer English Literature, which I do, Media Studies, which I do, Maths, Economics, Business Studies, PE, yeah, I don't know how they do that either, um, Science, French, Spanish and German, I think. There could be Mandarin, but I could very well be wrong. Sociology, Psychology, Classics, um, there's probably more, but that's just what I've got off the top of my head. They've also asked, is it affordable? I hope you can reply back to this. Um, I love the school, but no, I wouldn't say it's affordable, but then it depends on your family's income. Book Club for Book Lover says, does learning online prevent social interaction? Anyone who is homeschooled or who has been homeschooled will understand my frustration at this question, and it's nothing against the person who commented it, it's just a really common question that is kind of a silly question because when you go to mainstream school you're not you're constantly being told by your teachers that you're not there to socialize you're there to learn and you're constantly being segregated from your friends you're you know sat at different ends of the class because you talk too much school isn't for socializing um and when you're homeschooled i would say that you can um socialize more because um, it's more flexible so you can go and meet friends, you can you know hang out with family and obviously at Inter High you've got classmates and teachers too and because I go to Inter High I can do my blog and my YouTube more which means I'm in daily contact with you know my online friends, the people who watch these videos and read my blogs, um, publishers because I'm a booktuber primarily I, I work with books and you know when you're homeschooled there's nothing to stop you from going to extracurricular clubs, going just out to like museums or for a walk or shopping, which I love. Homeschooling, I mean it depends on your circumstances, but my experience, I socialise more being homeschooled. Being homeschooled, it doesn't mean you're locked in the house like 24 seven. It's actually way more flexible, so. Hannah on Twitter asks, is there any bullying? And if so, what kind? I would say at normal school you have about 90% bullying, you're constantly faced with it whether it's you bullying someone or you're being bullied or you're witnessing someone else being bullied, there's just so much of it at normal schools, there really is, it's awful. Into high, I didn't see any bullying for my first three years. The first instance of bullying I saw was like a few months ago and it's the only one and it was on the message boards and it was two year sevens having a bit of a scrap and that's the only, I don't even know if that's considered bullying, it was more just arguing over an opinion. Um, so there's like no bullying at Inter High and then at mainstream schools it's like, okay, wow, everyone appears to hate each other. <laughs> Lynn on Twitter says, what would your advice be to parents who are keen to homeschool but a bit worried how they'll cope? Well, 
I'm going to answer this question in two parts. If you're a parent who is considering into high and you have the money, then I would say go for it because it's literally like a normal school but it's online and with into high also I think I mentioned earlier their open evenings so it might be worth going to one of them as I said contact them on their website and they'll tell you all about that just do your research basically if you are a parent who is keen to homeschool without into high um, then I would say the main thing is to Trust your child to learn what they need to know. When I was homeschooled before into high, I was homeschooled from the ages of 7 to 11, and then I went to secondary school for a bit, um, and then I went to into high. We didn't have, you know, my mum didn't sit me down at a desk all day and be like, right, today you're learning this, today you're learning that. I just got on with it. I didn't do structured homeschooling. I just learned from living. So, you know, I... I think I think people have a natural curiosity and if you leave them alone long enough they're just going to start teaching themselves like they might suddenly wonder oh why is the sky blue and then they'll google it and they'll fall down the science rabbit hole or they'll be in the library and they'll pick up a history book and be like oh this is interesting you know um, we have a natural curiosity to know stuff and I think it's really important to trust your child to, to just do that and get on with it but then if, um, if non-structured homeschooling doesn't work for you and you want to do it more structured either with yourself teaching or if you get a tutor in then Oh, I don't know because I haven't experienced that um, I also think it's important not to listen to people who are like you know, if you say, oh, I'm considering homeschooling my child, to not listen to people who are like, oh, why would you do that? They won't get anywhere in life, they won't make any friends, they're, they'll be stuck inside all day because they don't know what they're talking about. And at the end of the day, you just have to try it, and if you try it and it doesn't work for you, then at least you've tried. And if it does work, then it might end up being one of the best decisions you've ever made. I know that can be said for me and my family. And that's all the questions answered. If you have any more, let me know down in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. It's worth getting in touch with Into High as well if you have any questions. They will be more than happy to help. Also, if you join Into High and you say that I um, brought your attention to it, I get £100 off my school fees. Like, that's not the reason I'm doing this. I really hate the first video I ever did about it, so I wanted to update it. But that's just a thing that you can do if you want. You don't have to do it, it would just be nice. If you're joining into high soon and you're watching this looking for advice, then good luck, not that you'll need it, because it's honestly probably one of the best decisions you'll ever make. It was for me. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. And I'm going to go and lay down because I feel really ill, so yay. <laughs> Bye.